And what happens when you are kafura, ungrateful? Now, that's just shakiran. That's Allah SWT said, وكون, you know, وكون ma shakirin. Be of those who are thankful. Alhamdulillah, he didn't say, be shakur, because we really be in trouble. The shakir, he's the one that's grateful for the blessings. The shakur is the one who is grateful for the mishaps, for the disasters, for the problems. So alhamdulillah, he didn't tell us to be shakur. But what he did say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he did say in the Quran is, qalilun min ibadi shukur. Very few of my servants are consistently grateful. Very few of them. Qalilun min ibadi shukur. Very few of my servants will be thankful no matter if good comes or if bad comes. That's a higher level. And this is, a, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's way of letting us know you can never be thankful enough. There's no end to the blessings, so there should never be an end to your gratitude. Imam Shibli, Rahimullah, he used to live in the mountains. This is one of the famous early Imams, especially one of the early Imams of this science, right? Makarm al Akhlaq, Tazkiyah, Matharat al Qulub, purification of the nafs, of the lower self. He used to live in the mountains. One of his students came to him and said, uh, the Imam asked him, how are the people of your town? And he said, Alhamdulillah, when they are given, they are thankful, right? They are grateful, shakirin. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withholds from them, they are patient. And Imam Shibli said, this is the gratitude of dogs. If you give a dog a bone, he's thankful. He wags his tail, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you withhold from the dog, you give him nothing, he's patient. He'll wait. You see, Imam Shibli is telling us, go higher. He said, rather, when you are deprived, that is the time to be thankful. Because now he's speaking about shukur. He's taking his student, he's teaching his student a very valuable lesson. He said, when you are deprived, be thankful. And when you are given, be altruistic. Give out. Give out from your ni'mah. Allah will not cheat you. It is His promise. It is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When He said, La in shakartum, la azidannakum. If you are thankful, I will increase you. Wallahi, Allah will not cheat you. If you can manage to be thankful, Allah, He will increase you. If you are ungrateful, you will never find contentment even though you are surrounded by your blessings. You will suffer even though you have everything. And we live in Southern California. Beverly Hills is right down the road. How many of them have everything from this dunya and they are miserable? No one, no one is going to bend reality. 
the truth is always with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one gets away with trying to cheat Allah. You only cheat yourself. If you are ungrateful, you're going to pay its price.